going on everybody uh veda magazine here with the one and only uh <laughs> there we go you always do that because i want people to introduce themselves <laughs> okay okay i'm gonna do that with everybody okay all right, all right before we even get started i gotta tell you this is the man who's responsible for what you see right now mm. every single um photo that i've taken of some sort of Important person, a VIP, uh, going down to Minute Maid where the Astros play uh, for the baseball, uh, whether it be sports photography or just generally getting around people who are people to know this man is responsible for. I always give a credit to the people who have always um, looked out for me, looked out for Vader, uh, true um, bits and pieces to us or whatever to go on and leads I, I just do that because it's a huge respect that i have for this man right here so if you're ever in houston texas you need to get with Leave <laughs> so you gotta be ready for it. you gotta be ready because you gotta introduce yourself you gotta tell me who you are you know what i mean like i don't play no I, hey look i don't play no games about it okay. the people that i surround myself with are important people i do not surround myself around trash people uh people who are just no good i, I surround myself with good good solid people who have a track record of getting things done more importantly so without um further ado or whatever hey man go ahead and introduce yourself <laughs> as always tell them who you are tell them how you got started everything go ahead oh man so we're gonna run it down okay it's Khalid Rashid um I'm owner of Poster Magazine that's the original magazine we started with we started that September the 1st um 2013 um this year be our six year anniversary we took a couple of breaks in there some voluntarily some involuntarily um I'm currently my newest projects so or new magazines that I worked on is called For the H um that's basically everything For the H the reason I came up with that I just got tired of people not telling the story right about Houston and I just wanted to go ahead and, and, and do it for everything for the culture for as you know we known for music and everything else but it's beside music that we should be known for the, um, you know since we got actresses um, we got some mama pop stores it's a lot of things to pay you know saying a homage though you know saying and we one of the most diverse cities in America so I think every race and nationality needed to be touched upon and, and needed their own you know somebody to cover them and, and, and give them a spotlight um, and we also did post a Latin magazine that's currently on postpone uh, due to lack of sales but I think now that was during COVID when I was kind of struggling with that and since you know we back open up um, I think it'll begin to take on off since we've been doing a lot and, of And um, let me tell you like guys, that. I don't mean to interject. Okay. COVID was a very difficult time for everybody across the world. Yeah. So don't think that because he had low sales or whatever the case may be, people would just didn't want to hear what he had to say or read the, the information and the articles. It was just that people just simply could not afford not only Post Magazine, Latin Magazine, they mm -hmm. couldn't afford basic household necessities. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So I just want to clear that up. Go ahead, man. Yes. Yeah, well, yeah, you cleared it up. Okay. So, and that's basically what we have going on. Um, we just currently just did uh, in March. Um, we just did a for the H. Uh, I mean, for the Culture Awards. So we just did our first um, our first award show this year. Um, be gearing up toward in August. Um, that'll be the two year anniversary for the H magazine. Um, this is this magazine right here. Go ahead and show them the magazine. Just for the H magazine. So we are gonna gear up for that one. And so we'll be doing um, awards. Um, if you go on Event Bright Link, it say Legends Only. So a lot of people are like what's what they mean by Legends. So we gonna. We're gonna give like the pioneers of Houston. So we're gonna give like the whole rec shop records. Um, we're gonna give the whole from the producers all the way down to the artists, those that's here and not here for us, like Fat Pat, Big Hawk, all those people, DJ Screw, you know what I'm saying? His sister supposed to come on in, accept the awards. Um, OG Big Mike, it used to be a rap a lot records, um, Swisher House. Shout out to Swisher House. AD Green, what's going on, brother? Congratulations on that baby. Congratulations on the whole family life. Uh, congratulations to um, DJ Screw, everybody out there. We love you. Houston will always be behind you. Proceed. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And so we're going to do them, and we're gonna also definitely going to get the whole Dope House records. I gave um, South Park Mexican, his son, and um, and them for record label. We want to get address the whole them because they definitely played a part of the culture. This man had been incarcerated for 20 some years and he's still one of the highest selling um, artists out in Houston, Texas though. You know what I'm saying? And so they really continue. We want to continue to not leave those people out. And there's some other surprises too. We, we got some 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 legends too that's gonna be coming i just ain't gonna say some people's names because we just trying to confirm um and things of that nature though so um we doing that um and like you said all this week um 
you can catch me out. I'm, I'm, I'm active in the community. Um, you know, today I'm, I'm with, you know, my guy, you know what I'm saying, doing this. Tomorrow, uh, shout out to Oney, the CEO, I'll be over there doing that. So I'm kind of on the press run this week uh, from doing a lot of interviews, um, you know, and every day. Um, also, I'm on the 40 Acre Conference. Uh, I'm one of the board members for that, um, for the 40 Acre Conference. Shout out to the 40 Acres, um, and shout out to Allen um, and uh, Houston, you know, Houston Millenniums. Um, so it's a lot that we have going on. A lot of people say that they for the culture, um, but we really don't be seeing these people for the culture. Um, they ideal, I think for them is, I mean, I don't pay nobody's bills or um, and things of that nature, but I just think for the culture is only just for them. Now, I love my people, um, you know what I'm saying, black and brown, but it's more people than that. You got to go outside your region to reach them um, and to do that. Um, and it's, you know, my only thing with that is what they promote. Um, I just think at the, once you reach a certain age bracket, um, certain things you should go, like low vibration or you should you know when the elevator you know just stop doing these type of things and being going into those environments i just think for you know saying because you're stunting your growth but like i said i don't pay these people's bills i know the entertainment industry is very lucrative um i just know that you know what i'm saying for me um that's no longer a desire of mine or i just don't you know what I'm saying i don't like to be in those type of places because the spirits and the things that goes off when you leave and you meet people that's not good and i can't let people have access to me like i used to have no more you know yeah. what i'm saying that's that's where i'm at well i noticed you got some awards or some plaques there oh yeah this is some oh. of the this is this is some you know i try to bring my props though to kind of make it look good so this is like when it you, is no making it look good good is what it is <laughs> all right good is what it is Gun so these are some of the original awards when we first start doing the war show because like some of the war shows that you guys see now that I that I've been doing on social media but these is like I was I ordered these award shows at the beginning like in like 20 I think like 21 so when COVID had hit I wasn't able to do the war show I had to mail out the awards to those people that was actually had to get those awards though because um, some people was out of town and, and they had us on lockdown so I couldn't do that though and uh, that was the reason COVID is really the reason that I really began to do the war show um but that too and then tired of getting ejected uh, and hearing people saying that they in houston uh haven't said that they do award shows but it's really not a war show it's really a friends gathering um a lot of it be biased um you know you got to vote people in yeah. and you keep giving the same awards to people that you know uh it's no way that possible that these people should be getting awards i mean it's i mean if you look at their track record they only do certain things you, you never see them outside they never do nothing um, they never support them, you know what I'm saying? And my thing is this, if you give like photography, the videographer or these things or, you know, host of the year, these people need to be hosting things that, you know, seem to be out there, you know what I'm saying? That it's not this rap stuff, you see what I'm saying? Or this artist things though, you know what I'm saying? So that makes no sense to me. And you with these people all the time. Um, and that makes no, you know, I don't know. I mean, you know, when you come to my award show, um, you can see the diversity in the room. Um, no matter what it is that we do though, I just don't cater to one certain type of person or nothing like that. If a person might get another war, like you didn't got a war from me, you and know I what I'm saying? Other, other people didn't got awards and sometimes if the other person might get a war one time and get a war next time, it's for a different fraction of something that they do. It's just not on the strength that I do. Um, um, it's not favoritism, nothing like this though. It's just these people had different business and stuff like that though and we want to showcase people and give those people with purpose um, and inspiration uh, the shine that they deserve. But most definitely, I will say you're an inspiration to not only me, as an um, as a photographer, as an artist, as a small business owner. Yes. Um, you are an inspiration to the community in which you have always been a part of. Yes. Um, I, I know this because I've actually spoken to several people about you. I ain't even tell you that, but I, I <laughs> okay. actually have. I was like, okay. you know, this? when I first got there, I didn't know anybody. Okay. So he approached me, and we worked. And I did ask, like, you know this person? And they were like, oh, yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I was like, all right, all right, we good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and again, when he speaks about a track record, he, he's talking about things he has, he has actually done. Yeah. And that's what I like about people in this position is that these, these type of people actually have social weight, yeah. right? They've actually done stuff. Uh, people in the community actually know them. They have the photos, they've got the videos, the Instagram, the social media accounts to account and document, more importantly, everything that they've done. Not just saying, I've done this and that thing, and you try to find this person out of the community, they be like, who that is? Right? Like, I ain't ever seen this man before. You know what I mean? Like, it's nothing like that. So, most definitely, 
Uh, what's your Instagrams? Okay. And all the social media. Where can they find the magazine? Uh, the magazine is currently on MadCloud.com. You can type in "post the magazine" um, or "for the H magazine." Uh, most of the links. Um, it used to be on Instagram, but since I'm currently promoting um, the next event on Eventbrite, um, you can go on there and then one of my press. These I just did an article and um, to the, I think this, the Void Houston or the Shout Out Houston. My my article is on there. It's a recent update for that one, but you. You can call, uh, find me on P U L S E um, underscore T H E magazine LLC. Um, you can type in Post Latin magazine, um, and you can also type in Four, like F O R, not the number Four. You know what I'm saying for those you know kind of struggling with English. You know what I'm saying. So F O R um, T H E H magazine. You can or you can type in when Facebook want to be Facebook Khalid. Um, that's R A S H two H E. Um, D, you know what I'm saying and stuff like that so you can do that. Um, I'm very active I just started a TikTok. I know I'm kind of behind the times. I don't do all social media I'm um, like everybody else because I'm, I'm I'm old school with I'm, I'm like if I want to talk to somebody I go to the lo event to the local to events and go in there I'll beat the campus and go in there like my pops used to do and we go in and talk and come to an agreement to a disagreement or something and do it that way um, That's what I believe in you know what I'm saying because when we started the magazine a lot of these uh uh, social media platforms was not social media platforms. They was just getting started and I just really believe in communication because you can feel the person out there right then and there. Yep. Even if we have a disagreement, okay, you know what I'm saying, we can, you know, put that aside and we can still to the stick to the business and say how we gonna help each other or barter the services that we need. Um and a lot of people don't understand that though, you know what I'm saying? And so that's real big on me, like um a lot of people do pictures, you know, I do relationships. Like, I really like talking to people. I check in up on people. How you doing? You know what I'm saying? Keep people in care. Tell them to keep up the good work and do those type of things, yeah. though. Um, you know what I'm saying? And so, um, I don't, you know, like for me, uh, it's good. I get nominations. It's all right, though. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, I, I give out awards. So to me, that really doesn't really mean too much for me. Because, um, I mean, at the end of the day, I just want to be remembered for my character. Like, when you bring my name up, um, you can always say, you know, he was a good dude, or he tried his best, or he, you know what I'm saying, um, or he always tried to communicate, you know, those things hold more weight to me to that, or, you know what I'm saying, because, like, when you see me out in public, um, I had to respect my peers, I'm not bragging nothing like that, but when we go out, you can see the way people embrace and stuff like that, um, and I'm always with the people, because I'm for the people, for one thing, to say that you, a lot of people say a lot of things that they want to, Let's do certain, do their things that's like that. But you know, so when it comes to our elders, our kids, and our community, I'm always front line. You know, so yeah. either we gonna go to Austin over, or we gonna do what we need to do, and we and do we do it that way. And that's it. Well, I'm gonna tell you guys that was a phone call. It's probably an important one that he has. <laughs> if it's coming through on the broadcast like that, I will most definitely attest that he keeps me abreast every single day about what the what's going on in Houston and everything like that. So. This is Vader Magazine. I need this man to get that phone. Okay? <laughs> we out of here. All right. All right, man. All right. <laughs>